guys, Mike here at Animation Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. Okay, so I received another request, and the question that I got was how to model a house, and more specifically, a house exterior slash interior, so inner walls, stairs, windows, doors, and so forth. Okay, so we're going to do a fairly basic setup, but at least uh, you'll be able to understand the technique of what you need to do. And then you can make it your own and based on your own blueprint and so forth. Okay. A couple of things before we get started. Uh, if you want to model exactly to scale, you have a couple of options. If you go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Preferences and Settings. Here I have this set up to centimeters. You can change this to inches, to feet, yards, meters, whatever you need. Okay. So that's one way. Oh, I'll just set it back to centimeters. That's one way to work. Uh, which now tells you that every single grid square is one by one centimeter. Uh, the other option is if you go to create, measure tools and distance tool. And you double click and you drag, you can see that you can set exact measurement. And again, this will be in centimeters. Okay. I'm going to hit control Z to get rid of that because I'm not going to do that. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a very basic plane. Okay. And that's going to be the floor of my house. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to my top view and I'm going to go into, uh, let's see, um, mesh tools, insert edge loop. Okay. And I'm just going to simply set some outer walls. So we'll do one here. And again, this is going to be very basic one there and I'll do one down here, one down here, and then one here, one here, and one there. Okay. Now I'm going to set up some divides for inner walls. So I'll do one here one here, one there, and one there. Now it probably doesn't make too much sense just yet. If I hit four, you can see it a bit better. Okay. But let's start to create some walls. All right. So I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard and I'm going to right click and go to face. And I'm going to start to select, oops my outer wall like so and I'll select these in full as well. I'm going to go to edit mesh extrude. I'm going to tweak the thickness. So let's say this is our house for now. Okay. All right. Now, next, what we're going to do is we are going to make some openings for doors, windows, and so forth. Now, let's say that I want a section of this wall to be gone completely because I want to walk from this room into that room. Okay. So in order to do that, we'll go to insert edge loop tool and I'll just put one in here and I'll take that entire section out. Okay. Q on our keyboard, right click face, select this face, that face, and that face. And as you can see, we now have some openings that we need to close up. Okay. Which is fine. We'll now go in. We're going to right click, go to edge, and I'm going to take uh, this one and this one. I'm going to go up to edit mesh and bridge the option box. I want zero divisions and I'm going to click on bridge. So that's not closed up. Okay. I'm going to take these two, hit G to repeat last command and take these two and once again hit G to repeat last command. So we have an opening there. Now I want to have a door in this area here 
and I want to have a door in this area here because I want to have my stairs in this area. Okay, so I need to determine the height. So again, I'm going to go to uh, injured edge loop and we'll put that, let's say, somewhere around there. Okay, and I need to have one on the inside as well. And I just need to check the outside to make sure that they're all of the same height. Okay, so I'm going to move to this view. I'm going to hit 4. And I'm going to get a W to move that one down. Take that one. Move that one down. Move that one down. That one, that one, that one, okay, so that's all level, looks like I have a little issue here, not necessarily based on where I'm creating my opening, okay. So we'll take, let's see, actually that's fine because it's not going to impact what I'm doing. You can have it all level, but okay, that one's sloping up, that's not good. Okay, so let's see if we can fix that. We're going to right click at our vertex. Take that one and that one. And then from the outside, that's always the risk when you're dragging them instead of manually selecting them. Okay, cool. So all ready to go. So I want to have a door opening here. So I'm going to go to Injured Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Multiple. We'll do two. And I'll do two right there. Hit R. And scale them out until I have the width of the door that I want. Okay. Make sure it's set from both sides. Hit Q on your keyboard. Right click Face. Select that face, select that face, and delete. And then we're going to go back in, right click edge, one and two, edit mesh bridge, one, two, G to repeat, come on. Doesn't want to play ball. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Oh, that one was already closed up. Sorry about that. I need to repeat. Okay, so that's going to be our door opening. All right. Now we'll demonstrate a window, which is not entirely different. I'm just going to go back to insert editor tool, option and box, single setting. Let's say we want to have a window in this area right here. That will kind of determine the height of your window. And if you want, you can add one here and one here to determine the width, okay? Key on your keyboard, right click face, delete that one. I'm missing one edge loop. So we'll set that there. We'll just uh, check the height on that one. That seems to be okay. Q on our keyboard. Right click face, hit delete. And once again, we're gonna bridge. So right click edge, one and two. Edit mesh bridge one two 
g to repeat. I think I select a little bit too much there. One and come on. One and two. G to repeat. And one and two. G to repeat. So that's all closed up. Yeah. So we got a window opening. We have a door opening. We cut a section out of a wall. So that's kind of all the options we have um, so far. Okay. Now let's deal with our stairs. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to object mode. We're going to hit control D to duplicate and W to move up. And let's make sure that it's sitting nicely on top. And there we go. We've got a little face row going on there that we want to get rid of. So we're going to right click, go to face, select that and shift double click and select and shift double click, select, shift double click and select, shift double click and delete. And there we go. So that's all good. Now, this here is the area where our stairs are going to come up. All right. So we're going to take this and we're going to hit delete. As you can see, it now has an opening. Okay. And the question is, do we want to have the opening wider or not? And at this point, I'm going to move inside of the house. That looks okay. And now we're going to do a little trick. So we know where the stair is going to and where it's coming from. Okay. So we're going to take a simple polygon cube and we're going to use that as a guide. Okay. Like that. First, we're going to move that in and we're going to change the width. So it's going to fit into the opening that we need for our stair. Let's check from the top. I have to zoom in. Okay, we'll bring that in a little bit. We'll right click, go to vertex and bring that in. Okay, and then we're going to right click, go to object mode and we're going to move it over here. So at this point, it's now sitting level. We're going to push that down until the top there is kind of level with the floor where we end up. Okay. And now we need to right click and go to vertex, take all of these vertices and we're going to start to bring them up until we are at floor level of our, oops, do I have the right control? No, I do not. Until we are at floor level of our ground floor which seems to be the case. And then we're going to push that forward. So we can kind of create the slope that we need for our stairs like that. Okay. Now we kind of want to see whether that is going to pan out from this level. So let's check it out. It's coming towards our wall, which is fine. So that kind of looks okay. Now we're not going to use this actual thing, but it's a guideline, like I mentioned. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create a little cube, which is going to be our first step. And again, we're going to bring that in. Once again, from our top view, there you go. Right click vertex, bring that in like that. And then from this view, we're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down a bit. Oops. Make sure I'm in object mode. Okay. And now we know that we're going to hit W. We know that our top 
step will end here. All right. Now the whole thing is a bit high. So we're going to right click, get our vertex, take the bottom here and kind of bring that up to about there. Okay. And an average step has about 13 steps that I know of. Okay. So let's make this a little bit thicker. Okay. We're going to right click. We're going to go to object mode. We're going to select that. We're going to go to modify center pivot. We're going to hit control D to duplicate. And we're going to move that out. A little bit more out and down until right there. And we're going to make sure that the angle that we're going for hits the bottom mark of our example here. So this point right there. Okay. So we'll do that once again. Take this guy and correct that a little bit. Control D once again. Pull that down. Pull that out. And now we're going to hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. And work your way down. Now we're just going to correct the bottom one here. So right click vertex, take these two, bring that up. And let's clean this guy up. We'll take this, right click vertex, take these two and bring them in. And then we can take this guy and delete it. So let's see what we got. So here you have your stairs coming up. Okay. And you can make railings and all the other stuff that you want, but it's just a uh, kind of a trick that you can use if you want to uh, scale it up. Okay. So from there, you can start to obviously create your roof and so forth, but these are the basic elements. So how to create an opening in a wall, how to create a window opening, how to create a door opening that we did here and uh, how to create stairs. Now in this scenario on the top floor, this door would be closed and you would have a door somewhere over here, but you get a general idea. Okay. So I hope this um, tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help if I can. Thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.